saying he's used to an Ezreal laning phase. So that's going to be very helpful for him. I would think so. Oh, GP. If we see Gangplank, I'd be GP. Reaper playing Gangplank. Oh, it's locked in. Here we go, guys. It may be mid GP. It could, yeah. I think it's mid GP. I think so too. I think it's mid GP against Ezreal. I've heard you talk too much about your own jungle Gangplank. That's, no, that's no. just the same way that you use the level six equalizer and and you know have a really really good dragon. Yeah. That's. I feel like we're going to see a similar thing with this, but there, there's definitely some sort of underlying strategy that will become yeah. clear as this game goes on. Oh wow, blue buff heavily contested. Mata taking a lot of damage. He's also on Reaper. Doesn't want to get hit with that Grog Soak Blade, flashing away, the Ignite takes down, oh! First blood for Dade, and actually two kills. Oh man, this is a bit rough. With double AD carries is that you can choose which lane you go to in order to get, you know, to push it down. Yeah. Now, MVP Ozone saw an opportunity in this bottom lane where they had gotten the early kill on it. Yeah. They can easily fight this. I would say so. They're playing it very carefully, though. Well, they, did, they just burned a couple flashes to not get a kill, so yeah. they're trying to play it a little safer. Oh, man. And there we go. It's going to flash in. Starlast trying to get something done. Roar coming in with that slicing. Maelstrom gets a few stuns off. They do manage to get the kill on Mata, but now everybody has to be on the run. Reaper getting very low. Oh, wow. Look at that. Raven with a double kill already. Dandy chasing him down now. Raven trying to get away using that ultimate. And it looks like he'll barely escape. Nice play by Raven, actually. Definitely a very good vein, but I don't know if he can get away from this. Him coming in, and yeah, an easy finishing blow from Twitch. Slipped a little further behind because of that. And they're not going to get a turret order. They're not going to lose one, rather. And there's a duel going up here in top. Yeah, Ohm and Miso going at it. The equilibrium strike slowing down Ohm just a little bit. But Miso overall taking more damage. In fact, Miso in big trouble here. Oh man, there's nobody to get away. Has to use that equi equilibrium slight strike yet again. There's a flash and the ignite. That should do it. And there it is. Uh, one duel from it's natural. But, oh, we may have a bit of a fight here. Imp getting a bit caught. Has to flash very aware. The Zyre ultimate doesn't do a whole lot. Gangplank ultimate not too effective either. The slicing Maelstrom coming in. Absolute zero claims a victim. And Raven gets played back in. They're going to pick him up as well. Starlast trying to do damage on the outside. Here comes Reaper and Miso. And MVP Ozone having to disengage now. Can they get away? Tade kiting as best he can. Miso taking some hits. Reaper a little bit low. There's a box now. So patient waiting for that perfect box. And now Miso in a little bit of trouble as well. Mata looking for the death sentence. He gets it. And that is going to be an ace for MVP Ozone. Absolutely fantastic play. It's another brilliant comp from MVP Ozone. Home really going in on Miso. There comes Dandy from behind those Star Lash just waiting. There's the absolute zero right on top of the Zyra ultimate. Gangplank all comes down as well. But look at this. Ozone just not taking hardly any damage other than Mata. But hey, he's a support. Imp goes down though. Getting a bit caught by Roar. Dade should be able to finish him off. And he does. So still a one for three. Starlast on the it. run, but Dade's just got to hunt him down with wow. the help of Dandy. Whoa. And look at that.